Two, they left you too much time again. Boy, you got under a minute. You leave any time on that clock, man. It's over with. You know we're going down. Uh, we put on push on the board, and man, I'm excited for Mata. He did what he's supposed to do. Legendary. Legendary. Four. Let's get it. What it is? How you feeling? I feel good, man. This will be coming back and help my team out in the end. Yeah, when they counted, you were there. That's all that matter. Uh, I just, like, I just like the fact that my quarterback got faith in me, you know what I'm saying? At the end of the game, he came to me, trusted me in the process. We was down, came back up. Big money players make big money plays. Yes, sir. Love. Shane Coach, we got out here with a W. Hey, we survived today. It's just, we got to play better. I mean, win. When you look at that record, hey, it's 4-2 and two now, but we got a lot to improve on still. We got a lot to work on still, but... I mean, we show flashes every game. We just got to put it together. We got to put it together. Coach Prime really challenged you guys at halftime. Mm -hmm. He did. He did. He said we were soft, and we was. He was right. He was right. We was. We came out that second half. We played how we needed to. But now the goal is, hey, just put a full full game together. That's what we got to do. That's what we've been waiting on. That's what we need to do. One more game at home, then a bye week. Mm -hmm. One more game at home, bye week to Stanford. So, hey, no better day, no better week to put together next week. No better week. That's the plan, that's the goal, that's we're going to focus on all week long. We coming. Mm -hmm. We coming. I think the all um, understand what time it is. They left too much time on the clock, and we knew that. Nobody on the sideline panicked since. Nobody didn't believe. Uh, the coaches just knew like what was going to happen. And I definitely knew what was going to happen because you're going to do what it takes to win. But they simply left too much time on the clock. Uh, and you know what mode we went? We went Brady mode. That's legendary, bro. Well. Shadori, Giovanni Antonio with five catches late in the game. Did it just kind of feel like it was his time? <clears throat> no, we got a lot of great receivers. Even some of the players I wasn't able to uh, get on the field today. So it's just about who's going and whose day it is. Um, uh, they rotate a lot. And we all know they're going to double team Xavier Weaver. That's, that's to try to take him out the game. So it's just the next guy got to step up and uh, be active. On his back side. Should have been late in the third quarter. You had a driver, you got sacked again, and you were sitting off by yourself. The whole uh, defensive series kind of looked like you didn't thought, frustrated. Came back out the next drive, you let the touchdown. What was kind of going through your mind when you're sitting on the bench? Nah, it was just like really just taking accountability of what's going on in the game. You know, I'm holding the ball a little bit too long, uh, not really going through everything, not basically playing perfect. So. That's all it was, and then I'm on the sideline, I'm frustrated, and it's like, it's time. You know, it's time to do whatever it takes to win. And by any means, uh, you can take matters in your own hands. You got the will, you got it inside of you. Um, and you know the ins and outs of their defense and, 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 and the, to make them dictate and do one thing. So, uh, South, their DC had a great game plan versus us. They, they did a pretty good job going to the ball, um, covering our, our guys. But, at that point, it was okay, cool. 
Let's go legendary mode. Let's lock in. Let's do it. You looked like that on that drive. I mean, what was going through your mind in that drive? Was it just that? Or like, we're not losing this party? Yeah, like, it, it's just something that kicks in, like, whenever it's, because that losing's just not in me, you know? So it's like, if we got a chance, we're going to win. You know what I'm saying? Like, if it, 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 it's not too late in the game, uh, we're going to win. So it's just understanding what's at stake, understanding what's going on, understanding the pros, the cons of what we're doing, what we're not doing good, what we're doing good, and, you know, really taking over and taking control. So on that drive, you kind of were scrambling and you lowered your shoulder into one of the AFC defenders. And after that, you kind of screamed, yelled at your guys on the sidelines, kind of seemed like you get them fired up. What was kind of the message were you just trying to send on that play as you were kind of just, you know, lowering your shoulder that guy? Nah, it was really just because I feel like a lot of, so me personally, my body language is chill. I'm not really a, a, a super hype guy. I'm not a um, over the top type of guy. So I feel like sometimes the, 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 the team don't see that in me that I'm, you know, I'm going, I'm ready, because that's just naturally how I am as a person. So we really just had to activate that dog, that fire in you to, to, to show everybody, hey, look, we them guys. <laughs> we, we those guys that can get out there and just do whatever we want to do. So that was really the, the thing. It really is just like a scare tactic. They know I'm a load of on my shoulder, so they're not going to think anything sweet with me. Should have that second drive of the game. It seemed like you guys were refusing to kind of come away without points there after going three and out yet again, third straight game, first drive three and out. How important was it for you guys to get in the end zone on that second drive? I can't even, I ain't gonna lie, I don't even remember <laughs> the first, second drive, third drive. I don't remember that half of the game. Because it's just so much, yeah. like the quarterback position is just so much thinking and so much just. Uh, brain power you use that a lot of people don't really understand that you're using like when you get in that mode you look, you're using like 100% of your brain so, <laughs> so it, it's a lot so you know you come out of the game with a couple of headaches and you know um, I can't even recall that and how do you guys keep that energy going going into the next week I mean it's repetitive we, we know it's the problem so we just got to find a solution all 11 players got to do the right thing on each play. It can't be 10 players and, and one player not. So it's just something that I feel like us as players, we got to get together and, and, and put a stop to the badness that's going on with a slow start. Because y'all knew in the game was close. We a second half team. Y'all already knew that. So I'm sure everybody that been above before that y'all knew the outcome of the game. But um, we just can't afford to keep doing that. You know, good teams come and, uh it's going to catch up. Last so, question. Thank you. Greg Moore is on the level. Congratulations on the win. Nice speech. Was there a message before the final drive from your father? He's a relentlessly positive guy. Was there something he said to you ahead of that last drive, or was there something that was maybe ringing in your ear that he said throughout the week? Nah, it life? ain't. Pops don't even talk to me that, that much during the game, you know. <coughs> he lets me be me because, you know, I have – I've been living with him my whole life. So it's like <laughs> he can't tell me anything I haven't heard before. So – it's really, I just look down the sideline, just seeing everybody body language, the coaches and everybody, they knew. They knew what time it was. So it was just like, that's a perfect time. That's it there. <laughs> Thank you, Shador. Perfect Shador's. time, man. Appreciate Good song you, man. coming up, man. Y'all subscribe. <laughs> <laughs>